but it's not the guys, it's the computers. You have yep. boxes talking to boxes. Uh, that's a really good question. And so they, they rarely ever fly by themselves. Yeah. So, um, and now you heard about the, we're gonna connect all these airplanes yes. um, in the sky. So I call it the big Wi-Fi in the sky. Mm -hmm. So one airplane's gonna talk to its computers and say, what do you see? Yes. Oh, I see this. Nope. Okay, well, I see this. And now whatever he sees, I see, and, and so on. So now you spread these airplanes out, we'll cover all of Finland, yeah. all of Finland with, with a pair, and you make things more accurate. It really helps if you have fast computers. When you have fast moving jets, you need fast computers to quickly um, detect, identify, and track anything. Anything that puts out a signal, that camera. How can phone. a human I would want I would want two growlers. Uh, two is better than one, uh, just because you have more okay. ears out there locating more accurately. Um, but the mission's a no-go, and, and today's threat, with as sophisticated as they're getting, the mission's no-go unless you have uh, okay. unless your we, friends. We who, what I would do is I, I divide up into areas of our responsibility, okay. right? So you can have uh, a pair of growlers covering, you know, a border. Your, your, any, you know, pick one, northern, eastern, western, uh, southern, um, have a pair, and then have the other pair on the ground ready to launch, uh, and then have your one of your super hornets put, put a tanker store on it, and now he becomes the tanker pilot, and he just brings fuel to everybody that needs fuel. And now, um, that was a question I got asked by a lot of pilots, how, how, how long can you stay airborne? Uh, it depends on your butt. <laughs> because if you have a super hornet tanker bringing fuel to everybody, they can stay airborne as long as they need to. Um, if, if you don't have the growler, um, the mission's not impossible, it becomes more risky. Mm -hmm. the risk goes up. You can, you, you can do that, but keep in mind, um, there's very sophisticated surface to air systems being built and fueled. That, those, that model mix of Block 3 super hornets and growlers is something that will define in the RFQ <clears throat> response, our recommendations. Right. Obviously, that's the Finnish Air Force's decision. We think it's essential to have persistent and constant growlers, two or three working together, um, and then they can support as many strike fighters as need to flow through that space as possible. But that's, we have to answer those questions, our recommendation, as part of our RFQ response. We've done a lot of sophisticated analysis using uh, a lot of tools that the Navy uses to, to figure out what, how much they need, and, and we're basically going to use those tool, same tools to provide an answer for Finland. Uh, but let me back up a step. You, you know, I, I said that you need this, this guy airborne to cover the It doesn't matter what aircraft that are strikers, you need this aircraft to cover everybody. Any, any black airplane, the U.S. Air Force or, or, or Navy airplane, or, these, they don't go anywhere without, without, okay. without these guys.